Yay. Did you guys get to see my French bulldog up there? Murph? He's pretty cute. <laughs> so who's happy it's Friday? Can I get a clap? Woo! Friday. So I'm going to change things up. I'm actually going to be talking about a case study that we did here at Logitech. And uh, who, who owns a Logitech product or has used a Logitech product in the past? Oh, that's like almost every hand raised. I love it. I know those people in the back, the IT team, is just loving their, uh, their keyboards. Yeah! Awesome, guys. So I want to talk to you a little bit about what we did at CES. Let's see if this is going to advance. CES, isn't it just the best? Who's been to CES? Raise your hand. A few of you. OK, if you've been to CES, who's gotten lost? I have, a few times. Hundreds of thousands of people descend on Las Vegas every year in January. Thousands of exhibitors. And this is the program. And you can see the Logitech Lab just right there. <laughs> so needless to say, it's, there is a lot of fans that are trying to look at a lot of brands. And whether or not your brand is going to CES or not, CES for Logitech is social media every day. The competition for attention never ends. So the million dollar question is, how do we stand out in the chaos? How do we compete with the new TVs? The booth babes, you guys know what I'm talking about. And all this stuff. Or rather, how did we? The answer for us was simple. We put our fans in the spotlight. Ultimately, we decided that we wanted to make the fans own the message for us. So we educated them, we empowered them, and ultimately, we trusted them to be our brand ambassadors. So I had a two-part strategy. One was on the ground at the CES floor for Logitech Live, which we'll go into in just a few slides here. And then we had an at-home component for those who weren't able to experience CES but really loved all the products and wanted to know the latest and greatest that was happening at CES. So we decided to have a very engaging, immersive experience online via sweepstakes on Twitter. So the part one, as I mentioned, on the show floor. This is a map of the North Hall. And I don't know if you guys can see, but in that very back row, that last block, that's where my booth was. And it was probably half the size of this stage. So needless to say, I had a tiny footprint at CES. But we knew that we needed to get our products into the madness. We had to force ourselves into this conversation. So how did we do this? We actually created a newscast booth where we allowed attendees to be the tech pundits. So think of this as a Ron Burgundy desk where we gave our fans the opportunity to experience the products, touch them, feel them, be fully briefed by our experts at the booth, and then I kind of threw them in front of a camera, lights, camera, action, and they went for it. And I'll show you exactly what that looks like here in a couple slides. And then the second part, again, for those who weren't able to experience CES, we gave them an opportunity to be a part of this experience by allowing them to retweet one of the fan-reviewed videos, and that entered, into, entered them into a chance to win that product. So we had a sweepstake going on every hour the show floor was open. So, you guys want to see the results? Any guesses as to how many videos I was able to get produced with my team of seven? Throw some numbers at me. 3,000. Wow, that would be crazy. I wish. I wish. Close. 168 videos produced in three days. So, hopefully this will go. Crank it up. You got to hear this. Hello. Aloha. Hello. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome to Logitech Live. I am Matt Madrid. My name is Michael J. Powell. I'm Mick Frankel. I'm Julia. I'm Phil <laughs> Dutella. I'm Michael Kaufman. I'm Cuthbert. I am Harvey. 
I'm Amanda Roberts. I'm Tyler, coming to you straight from the show floor of the 2014 Consumer Electronics Show here in Las Vegas. There are thousands of tech toys here on display. <laughs> I'm here with one of my favorites. It's the G602, the Logitech Z600 Bluetooth speaker, TK820, Power Shell Controller, the UE Boom, the Harmony Ultimate, Fabric Skin Keyboard Folio, the Logitech G430, UE Mini Boom, Ultra Thin Touch Mouse. And the best, best part about it, your kids will love it. And it's cute. It's fantastic. I it feels really nice. It's waterproof. Chicks love it. I would give this product a, a 10 out of 10. It's incredible. Obama, I've seen him use this also. <laughs> Haven't already. If you've been stuck under a cave somewhere or in a rock, definitely a must-have product for 2014. Buy this. Oh, and by the way, it sounds freakishly amazing. Powerful magnets. Woo! All the other universal remotes and all your yeah, other remotes yeah. in your basket. Is Are that you not me? Are you kidding Unbelievable. me? Unbelievable. <laughs> Perfect. I use this guy every day. I love Logitech products. I love it. Get a Logitech mouse today. If you do not, you are a fool. To find out more about this essential component for your home theater and the Logitech products, visit Logitech.com. That's it for now. I'm off to check out the other tech goodies here at the show floor. This has been a Logitech Live update. I'm Matthew Long signing off from CES 2014. Oh, mwah. Kisses. Love. Rise above. Peace. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great stuff, right? So I will preface, I didn't pay those people at all. And as a result of this campaign, we had nearly 15,000 shares of our videos. That's a culmination of Facebook shares, shares on YouTube, and retweets as well. Um, and it, the numbers were staggering for us. We were aiming for, you know, maybe 20 videos. We were like, Hopefully we can get some people involved. Maybe they'll be excited. We didn't really know. But we knew that people love Logitech, especially when they experience the products. And so within three days, we had over 50,000 video views. Again, of over 15,000 shares. And I can go on for the, the metrics, but it blew out our, keep, our KPIs. And it really went beyond the numbers. People loved this activity. Uh, my favorite one it was, uh, what was it? it? It's hot over at the Logitech booth. Like, okay, that's cool. But people really were excited about this activation um, because it provided them a platform to be in the spotlight. And I don't know if for those of you who haven't been to CES, there's a lot of people that think they know a lot of stuff about electronics, and they do, but they want to really tap into that ego. And so we wanted to allow them to have that spotlight and go for it. And so I'm going to drill down into the details a little bit more so you guys can get an idea of how you can do this yourselves um, and, you know, have some key takeaways. We'll have some time at the end for some questions, but let me give you a rundown of how this actually worked, okay? So we hired a camera crew. Those are my two buddies there. One of them's looking at me like, are you seriously taking another photo right now, lady? Um, and so they were based out of Las Vegas. They came with a, a camera. They came with a teleprompter and a one lighting system there. And then we had bought props for the desk, a la Ron Burgundy. We, were made, we weren't going to serve scotch, but, you know, we considered. Um, and then we had the backdrop for, um, you know, as I said, hashtag Logitech Live. We went to the Salvation Army. We had some coats. We had some hats. As you can see, we had some mustaches. And we didn't know if people were going to use them, but most of them did. And I think it really allowed them to feel, feel kind of goofy. And so if they messed up, they didn't really worry about it because they had a yellow mustache taped to their lip. So we had this booth set up, but this other section of the booth was where we had our products displayed. And so as attendees came into the booth, they were able to see the latest and greatest products. We had it broken down by our gaming products, our tablet line, our CCP line. And as they were going to experience the products, we were briefing them on a couple of the key you know, product talking points. For instance, I would go up to someone and say, it looks like you're loving that UE Boom. Did you know it has 360 sound? It has a plasma coating, so it's water resistant. You can take it in the shower. And it has six drivers in it. So it's a pretty awesome product. And they're like, wow, that's really cool. I actually have one at home um, that I really love. And so I'd be like, that's awesome. Would you be interested in going on camera to talk about it? And a lot of times they're like, uh, what? Um, but I would say, you know what? You're, you, you obviously know about this product. How about we put you in front of the camera? We have a teleprompter that's already preloaded for that specific product that you can use or, or don't. You can just talk for 30 seconds to a minute, 
talk about CES, talk whatever you want. And it was a little bit of a gamble, of course. They could have gone up there and said, you know, Logitech sucks, I don't know why I'm up here. But no one did. They just went up there and they were just, they couldn't talk more nice things about Logitech. It was cool. The incentive I had for them is I had a coupon for 50% off on the spot for that particular product that they're going to review. Pretty sweet deal, right on the spot. You love this? Here you go. From there, that pitch, we um, you know, made sure that they were comfortable, they were on camera, and they just went with it. So that's kind of like the pre-production slash production aspect of it. And then going into the post-production, it was a little bit more of a, a circus act, but we were able to pull it off in the sense of they shot the video, I took the little file from the, uh, the, the camera, walked it over to a desk, here you go. They took that file, they uploaded it to Dropbox. My team in Brooklyn then downloaded it from Dropbox, edited it in real time, then uploaded it to YouTube. Then I got an email back that I was able to share with that consumer, and I said, hey, Billy, your video looks sweet. You're gonna be a superstar. If your video gets 25 views or more, you're automatically entered in to win that product, no questions asked. So it was a pretty sweet incentive. And then again, back to that at-home component, people who weren't able to participate at the show floor, if they retweeted a featured product that we had every hour, and it was always a fan video, they were entered in to win that product. And we were giving out products every hour the show floor was open. So, I'm going to wrap up by saying, this is easy to do. Granted, I had, a, I had a pretty modest budget, okay? But I can promise you that you could do this with any event space or any area that you can dedicate as your own with an iPhone and simply ask people to talk about how much they love your products or your services. I used to be in B2B, and this is something that I used to do with customers all the time. Now, you don't want to bombard them and scare them and say, hey, I, I want to put you on camera, talk, talk about me and my company, that would be amazing. People aren't going to get into that. But if you have identified a passion or something that they know that is a great use, use case for that product, they're going to be happy to share. So I'm kind of going to leave this open now. I'm going to stay on stage for questions about how you guys can do this, because I know there's other brands that are interested in doing this. They don't quite understand or quite know how to get people wrangled in.